There is new hope to keep families together when facing a crisis. It's a new law named after Kyle Forty, a Carter Foster dad who died in a helicopter crash in Kenya. Marjo Hillen shows us how it honors Kyle and a nonprofit he founded while helping Colorado families. You know, it's bittersweet. Um, I wish that Kyle was here to celebrate with us in person today. I know he's there in spirit. Representative Jonathan Singer joined other legislators as Governor Jared Polis signed the Kyle Forty bill into law. Uh, we'll all have uh, Kyle near and dear to us in our hearts as well as the uh, thousands of children that this bill will benefit in the years ahead. Kyle died in a helicopter crash while in Kenya in March. The foster dad left behind a pregnant wife and son. Kyle and his wife, Hope, began pushing for this legislation two years ago that would give parents a safe place to temporarily place their kids so they didn't end up in the foster care system. This is a fit parent that is just facing a tough time and then doesn't have a family member or close enough friend to leave his or her children with. Parents who have done nothing wrong and need a little bit of support deserve that opportunity. The bipartisan bill pushed by Kyle and Hope and named for Kyle is a fitting memorial. He's left a legacy and his fingerprints are in this building. His fingerprints are all over this bill. Both Hope and Kyle have done so much and they've shown that when you speak truth to power, sometimes power listens and responds the right way. At the state capitol, Joel Hillen, covering Colorado First.